The world is a bright and colourful place, or so you say. I'll have to take your word for it. Why, ladies and gentlemen? For I am colourblind, one of just 8% of all men in the world to suffer from such a terrible condition. Yes, I think condition is the right word. Why? My career options have been shattered. I could have been an electrician, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> it's shocking, I know. <laughs> I could have been a pilot, but it was never going to take off. <laughs> These jokes keep flying out. <laughs> and lastly, my personal favourite, bomb disposal. Cut the red wire, Johnny. I can just see that one blowing up in my face. <laughs> Not only have my career options been shattered, but my living options have been restricted as well. Did you know that some countries don't allow colourblind people to have driver's licences? Colourblindism isn't a word. Yet. But I'm not alone in the 8%, and there are people that truly have achieved greatness, and I'd like to look at a few. First of all, Mr Bill Clinton, former President of the United States. He's colourblind. I didn't see it stand in his way. Mr Clinton had a vision. Yes, it may have been a little bit distorted, but those clear-cut, black-and-white decisions have helped shape the world for what it is today. Another, Mr Keanu Reeves, legendary actor. Sorry, what colour's that card, friend? <laughs> but he also fancies himself as quite the poet. In an interview, Keanu Reeves once said, I think of black, I think of blue. I think of red, I think of you. I think of yellow, I think of mauve. No more colours do I know. Now to you, that may seem like a list of colours, and again. <laughs> but to me, it's something truly inspirational. Now there are a few things you may not know about colour blindness, and I'd like to clear that up for you. I do not, in fact, possess any form of canine gene, as dogs are not, in fact, colour blind, as many of you have been led to believe. <laughs> There's no cure for the condition, yet, and yes, those words, Johnny, what colour's that pencil? Or card, are the worst words you could ever say to someone like me. So I leave you now, ladies and gentlemen, with a thought. I'm colour blind, and I can achieve greatness. So can you. And I finish with a poem, somewhat inspired by Keanu Reeves. Roses are red, violets are blue. I'll take your word for it. I don't have a clue. Congratulations to Jonathan, the North Essex champion.